With the Thousand Year Door remake coming out earlier this year, I thought it'd be finally time to rank every single Paper Mario game. This includes all the games in the series, including the Thousand Year Door remake. We are not counting Mario & Luigi Paper Jam, since that is an entry in the Mario & Luigi series, not the Paper Mario series. This is all my personal opinions, and if you like this video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. And now, let us get into the ranking. Are you really surprised? Of course Sticker Star is the worst Paper Mario game. Now this may be a hot take, but I don't absolutely hate Sticker Star. It's not downright horrible, but it's not really that fun of an experience. This game is just so bland. How did we go from Super Paper Mario to this? Remember when Goombas looked cool? The same with Koopas? Well, kiss goodbye to that. This game had all its life and soul sucked out of it. Battles are honestly okay. I don't mind it, but I know there's a lot of people that have an issue with it. All the attacks are one-time use, because they're stickers. No more badges, no more star power, nothing. There's also no experience, all you get are coins, so there's really no point to battle. There's no level up system which also sucks. Bosses are also pretty garbage due to the fact that you need things to beat them, which are real life objects. If you don't have a certain thing, then you better restart cause you ain't winning. And their things are hidden in the most ridiculous places of all time. There are just so many issues with this game, it's really not worth playing when you can play the other Paper Mario games. I never really cared for Paper Mario 64. Don't get me wrong, this game is amazing. I had a lot of fun replaying it, but I don't know. I just never really cared for this game. This is the game that started it all. The locations are awesome, such as Toad Town and Dry Dry Ruins being my favorite. Battles are also really fun. We actually have partners in this game, unlike Sticker Star. My favorites are Cooper and Goombario. This game is full to the brim of unique characters, locations, and different moves in battle. But I just really don't like how clunky this game feels now. I really hope this game gets the remake it deserves in the future, cause I find it kind of hard to go back to. But it's still a really fun game, and I recommend you play it if you have Switch Online plus the expansion pack. Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door is known for being the best Paper Mario game of all time, but is it really? I honestly don't think so. But let's start off with the positives. The partners are awesome. They all have backstories such as Coops wanting to be brave for his dad, and Bobbery wanting to go back out to sea for his dead wife. The locations are also really cool. Rogueport, Petalburg, and many many locations are full of life. There's so many original characters in this game. Battles are also the best in the series. There's so many different options that you can do. The amount of badges in this game is humongous, so you can mix and match your inventory however you want to cater your playstyle. Battles also have proper experience like Paper Mario 64, where you can level up HP, FP, or badge power. And whenever you collect a crystal star, you get a new star power move, which are pretty good attacks that you can use that cost star power. But that's where my praise for the Thousand Year Door ends. I really dislike a lot of chapters due to how tedious they are. Chapter 4 requires a lot of backtracking, and battling without a partner isn't really that fun. Chapter 7 is actual hell with the backtracking, and the level design is just okay. I'm more fond towards the open world design of the Origami King and the original Paper Mario. And I honestly think the music is just okay. It's definitely not up there like the other Paper Mario games, and I find it kind of all to be samey. This game is overall pretty good, but I think it's a little overrated. Paper Mario Color Splash was the first Paper Mario game that I ever played. Going back to it, I still adore this game. Although a lot of people call it Sticker Star 2, I think that this game is leagues better than Paper Mario Sticker Star. First off, Huey is my favorite companion in the series. He's actually hilarious. Basically, every line that he has is funny. In fact, this game has the most hilarious dialogue in general. I don't know why, but modern Paper Mario loves to crack jokes, and I'm all in for it. I also love the level design in this game. Although we don't have gimmicks like curses in the Thousand Year Door, I love how open the levels are. Although things are back from Sticker Star, they are much easier to find than in that game. Battles are also okay. I feel like they drag on at times, and there isn't any experience like Sticker Star. But the paint gimmick is creative, and in my opinion, freshens up the gameplay. And the music is just amazing. I love the style that it uses. Mainly the only problem I have with this game is the lack of original characters and the battle system. But I love basically everything else with this game. The charm it has is beautiful. Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door was kinda of flawed, so what did they do? Remake it and fix almost every single issue that it had. This is what a remake should be. It fixes the backtracking, adds new music, looks nicer, adds new bosses, and new badges. What more could you ask for? Probably the only issue I have with this is that it's slower than the original, but it's not really that big of a deal. It's still an amazing Paper Mario game. Paper Mario The Origami King is the most underrated Paper Mario game. I adore this game so much. First off, this game looks beautiful. 
on a mountain alone sells the visuals for me. I also like the confetti aspect of the game. You don't have to use it as much as paint and color splash, so it doesn't hinder the game that much. Even though this game had generic characters, we sort of have partners back, like Bobby and Bowser Jr. And this is my second favorite Paper Mario story ever. Not having to fight Bowser, but instead team up with him is actually awesome. I mean, what other Paper Mario game are you trying to stop a racist king from killing all the toads? Although normal battles are just okay, boss battles are the best in the series. The ring mechanic is used in such an interesting way, and it makes the bosses stand out a lot more. Not to mention the bosses are damn office supplies, which is kinda hilarious. There really isn't a chapter in this game that I didn't like. My favorite chapter is chapter 6, where you have to heal Bowser Jr, and it's such a fun chapter. I loved basically everything about this game, so how can anything else top this? Super Paper Mario is my favorite Paper Mario game. This game is probably the most fun gaming experience I've ever had. But let's start with the most obvious thing. This isn't a traditional RPG. It's a platformer RPG hybrid, which I really like. Leveling up is still present, which is nice, and the flipping to 3D mechanic is pretty cool. The story is just amazing. Seeing the void grow after every chapter, and eventually it wipes out an entire world while you're in it, is just so unsettling. The villains are the best Mario villains ever. Count Black and Dementio are truly evil characters. This game has all the charm from the previous two Paper Mario games, it adds on to it. Sure, you have to fight Bowser, but he eventually joins your team, along with Peach and Luigi. A lot of people don't like the level design, but I personally love it, Chapter 7 and 8 being my favorites, but I also like the Bitlands a lot. The game is pretty dark for a Paper Mario game, which in my opinion adds to its charm. Although we don't have traditional partners, we have partners that function like tools, which help aid Mario, like making him move faster or throw bombs. I highly recommend you play this game because it's such a great experience and the ending is pretty unforgettable. So yeah, that's my ranking for every Paper Mario game. Eventually I'll do Mario & Luigi, but that's when Brothership releases. So remember to drop a like and subscribe to this channel for more content like this, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.